welcome back everyone so in today's video i will be showing you how to load or upload data in a csv file from your local machine to google bigquery all right so let's get to it so i'm just going to go over to my bigquery studio and right here i'm logged in to my gcp and i'm on my bigquery uh, editor and i do have this data set here and uh, this is the data set that we will be loading our csv data to okay so i will be using this data set to load our data in csv from our local environment uh to all right so um we do have our data set here now so the next thing that i will do then is go over to the file that we want to load into bigquery and for that one i am going to go into my local machine and i will just quickly show you uh the file that i want to load to bigquery all right so i do have a file here uh these are netflix movies and i did download this one from kakol so i'm just going to quickly show you how this file looks like and we'll go ahead and load this file to google bigquery all right again this file is sitting on my local machine so i just want to show you how you can load this file uh, into bigquery all right so this is how the file looks like we do have the uh field names up here okay so these are the field names and then we do have the data and this file contains around uh 8807 records okay so we want to load this file into bigquery from our local environment all right so to do that all you have to do is go over to your bigquery studio go into the data set that you want to load this file to and just uh just uh if you click into this data set they there are three um uh, icons here so you just want to click uh into this and then you will see some options here uh the one we want to choose is this one for create table so we will go ahead and create this or just hit that and then uh so this is the template that we want to uh, fill in order to bring our data from our local uh, machine into uh, bigquery okay so i'm just going to select this and you can see here we do have a number of options here uh the one that we want to choose is this one for upload because we want to upload a file from our local machine to a bigquery environment okay so i'm just going to select this upload and then right here we want to select the file so basically we'll just hit here where it says browse and we are going to select that file okay so i do have the file here popping up so just select and navigate into where the file lives in your local uh, file explorer and just uh select it so i'm just going to double click this to select and that file will um, come right here okay so you can see automatically the file format is detected here as csv but you can see that we do have a number of other file formats here so we do have afro parquet orc or even json as well so just select the file format that you have in this case we want to load csv for so our file format is in csv and then uh, the rest of this other one so for the project automatically the project id is populated for you but uh, if this is another project that you want to create this in you can select here and uh, choose the project that you want to uh, have this uh, file or a table be loaded in okay and then uh, the data set is also showing up here and the reason for this again is because we um went into the data set that we want to load this table so both of these will fill uh automatically for you if you just follow the steps i showed you and then uh, here we want to enter the name for our table and i will call this one netflix movies okay so just put the name of the table here and uh so the next one here they are at, i think there's there's only two options there's only one option here but uh, in some other scenarios you will see external table and that is if your data is not going to be stored in bigquery in this case we will be storing the data in bigquery so this will be a native table so i am good with this option here and then uh so for the schema there are two ways that you can uh define your schema you can do auto, auto detect which and what bigquery will do for this one is it's going to scan the file and then uh create a schema for you uh, or you can also manually put your schema here so uh, you can put the json uh, kind of like a json um, schema here uh, which includes the field name uh, and the data type okay 
uh so we are not going to go with the second option we will just go with the first one here for auto detect we want bigquery to detect the csv file for us and create a schema for us okay and then uh, i'm going i'm not going to do any partitioning or any clustering uh, for now uh, but if you go down here you can also see some other additional options so uh, you can see here the right preferences we do have uh, three options here uh, the first one here is append to the table uh, this is if you don't want to if the table already exists and you don't want to um, override that table or uh, kind of like truncate delete it uh, so basically this will append the, the data that you will be loading and then write if empty uh, will be uh, creating the table and then write the data for for you know into that table and then we do have here the override okay so um again the append will append the data it's not going to override the table right if empty will basically write into the table if the table is empty now i think if the app if the table is not empty in this scenario then um there might be an error that would be thrown for you and then for the third one override will basically delete the, the data that's uh there in the table already and override it okay so that's self-explanatory right there so in this case this table does not exist so i am okay with this option here uh write if empty and then you can define if there are any number of errors that you want to allow for this so i will say zero for this case and then uh this is a comma delimited because the csv double quotes that's fine i will leave this one as default and then for header rows to skip uh row number zero that is okay we want to skip row number zero so what this basically means is this first row here we want to skip this uh, or we are not skipping it really because um the the we are not skipping any row because we have said that we want to automatically detect the column name so bigquery will just use this first one as the field names okay now in scenarios where you had your own uh field names or uh, columns so if you go with the uh, other option there right so if you go with the edit as text what happens is you can then uh skip the first uh row right and then that way then your schema or column names will be automatically added okay so i'm not going to skip anything here in the in the in the in the in the header rows for this i will just leave this one as it is and then uh, we do have two additional uh options here and i found these ones to be useful uh so the first one here uh quoted new lines here uh this one enables uh enable to include new lines containing quoted data sections in new in new cells when several new lines will signal a new row now i will check this one and uh one of the reasons i will do that is because if you go into a field like this one for description you do have long description lines so in scenarios if your data is not clean then uh you might have situations where this one has uh, to go to a new line and so if you don't choose this option here then uh, a new line will be created as its own row which is not what we want we want basically the entire description to be a uh, within a row itself and then uh, this additional one here enable to accept rows that are missing trailing optional columns okay so you can also allow this uh in this case i am also going to use this but it's not necessary i'm just going to do this um just to make sure that i'm taking care of everything uh, but you can also skip this um but this one i have found this one to be pretty much necessary in in in, in most cases okay uh and uh, i will leave everything else as it is then and that is pretty much it so i'm just going to go ahead then and uh click create table actually let me check this and then i'll go ahead and create table and now the file will be loaded into bigquery so if there are any any errors in your file uh you will see them here um um showing up right here before the table is loaded but in my case there are no errors so the table has been created and you can see here says go to the table or you can just basically refresh your data set and you will see the table created right there so you can see automatically the table is popping up now which is this one here uh netflix movies so just click into that table and then you can see 
that we have we now have our table created and the field names automatically were detected and also the associated data type is showing up as well so um what bigquery does with the data types is it scans the first uh, couple of rows and determines whether this should be a string or an integer so if you go to a row like this one here so you can see an s one here so that is it's just going to check a few rows here and uh, this will be a string the same thing with the rest of these other rows okay so this is uh these are the field names and uh, the data types and the rest of this other information here okay so um you can get additional information so if you go to details here you can get additional uh metadata for this table so you can see uh when it was created and uh the most important way one here will be this one here the storage information so you can see we do have the number of rows that were loaded to be 8807 so that should match what we have in our excel file here so if you check here we do have 8808 and the reason for that is because it includes the first row here which is holding the headers so uh we are not going to count that in our records and therefore our records will be 8807 so that means that we loaded all of the records from that file into bigquery and this is the size of our table okay uh now from here you can uh do a preview if you preview this table this will give you a preview of the data uh, as it looks in this file okay so this is pretty neat in bigquery because you can get an idea of how your data looks like p p uh in um, before running any scripts or any queries okay so so this is good because when you run queries in big table you get built for the queries that you run but when you do a preview like this then uh, you are not getting peeled so this is really good if you just want to get a an idea of how your data looks like and um you can see you can keep going you can so it shows you like uh, 50 rows and then you can increase this also if you want okay so you can see here we have our number of records so you can just keep going and you will just get the rest of the information right uh okay so you can uh now get an idea of how your data looks like and we we have the fields and everything so now if you want to query this table then you can use the information that you get from the preview and uh, go ahead and query so for example if we wanted to uh, get the number of movies per each country because we do have country here like uh, the country here basically where the movie was produced right so you can see in this scenario here this movie a bridge too far and this is the director here uh this one was produced in two countries here united states and uk we have united states in australia U united states uh, so you get all of this information uh within this data itself so let's let's see now if we can get uh how many movies were produced in each country and for that i'm just going to um so you see here in order to open a query editor you can click here uh query this table and this is going to pop populate for you uh, a select statement and it includes also the table that we want to run queries against right so for this one i am just going to a uh, again run um and we want to get the number of movies by each country or that were produced by each country so for this one we do have a column uh, called country there and we just want to count the number of movies and i'll call this one count right and we will uh group this by let's say one which is the first uh column here country and i will also order by two here and two is basically count here and we will do descending for this we want to get a uh, descending order so basically the country with the most movies uh will be showing fast in the in the in the, in the resource okay uh one other thing that is pretty neat in bigquery that i discovered recently also is you can format your query right so if you select this all of this and go to more here there's this uh option for formatting the query so if you just hit format here bigquery will format your query pretty nicely and uh this is just a good option to use if you want to uh, format your query to be more readable okay 
so now that we, ha we have our query you can see down here he, uh, it says this query will process uh, 113 kp and that means that this query has compiled successfully and it should be able to run now in scenarios where there is a syntax error or there is an issue with the query you will see an error right here or a top right corner right here so uh you know the pquery studio is pretty neat in telling you whether your query is good or not okay so in this case our query compiled properly and uh, we should be able to run it so i'm just going to go ahead and hit run here and this is going to uh, run and display our results so you can see here we do have united states as one of the country that produced the most movies at least from this data set followed by india we do have null here so i'm not sure what this one uh, is but we do have uh, data that does not have a specific country i believe in the in the in the in the, in the movies and then uh, so we do have the fourth one here as uk japan and the rest of the information so if you keep scrolling you will get now some of the uh, other countries like here we have japan united states together they produce 12 movies uh india united states then and uh so far and so forth okay all right guys so that's how you load data from your local environment into google pquery and that is basically what i quickly wanted to show you how to upload or load a csv file from your local machine into google pquery and we successfully did that and we are able to run queries against this file after we successfully loaded it all right so i hope this video was helpful and if it was please give it a thumbs up and also do subscribe to the channel if you have not in order to stay updated for videos like this in future all right guys i will see you then in the next video bye bye